in 1719 that Isaac Watts compiled Joy to the World, the famous carol that we love to sing. It's a reflection on the Psalms of David, especially Psalm 98, a joyous celebration of the sovereignty of God and the gift of Jesus. But this, also, but this carol also highlights how it all went terribly wrong with scholars referencing Genesis 3, 17 to 18, the fall of Adam, good versus evil. You know the story. But after the joy to the world, we sing the Lord has come. But do not be distracted by those that claim December 25th is just fake news. Like most earthly monarchs, Jesus has two birthdays. December the 25th, his official, his official birthday, but his real date of birthday, known only to God. Almost since life began, humans look to a bit of joy and party at the darkest and coldest time of year. They needed hope, light, love. It was also a time to worship their God or their gods, the pagan festivals as we call them. In Roman calendar, December the 25th was the winter solstice. So it's no surprise that the early church rather revolved around that date for their winter celebration. We go on to sing, let earth receive her king. We expect things to happen immediately these days. Take the waiting out of wanting, things right to our door. We're used to the sight of delivery drivers banging on doors, then beating a fast retreat before you can answer the door, parcel left on the doorstep. Even with all the convenience, we still need to receive the parcel. And in 2020, we both definitely still need to receive the gift of the baby Jesus. In 2020, much louder than usual, God has been banging on the door of this hurting world. Maybe he has even been banging on the doors of our hearts. But have we actually let him in? Even in lockdown, we have still been far too busy for Jesus to have quality time with us. Christmas for so many is a time of commercialization and overconsumption. A few years ago, I spent a short time working in Bournemouth, staying in a hotel Monday to Friday evenings. And one Sunday night, after carols on the railway, I found myself driving down towards Bournemouth so I could start work early on Monday morning. As I approached the outskirts of Bournemouth, their Christmas lights were still on display. And on a lamppost, flashing in the shape of a cross, was the two words, Christ and Mass. And I recall walking along the prom one night, reflecting on the separation of the gift of Christ and the Mass of Christmas. Lockdown and restrictions have forced the cancellation of so much of the Mass of Advent. Hectic events no longer crowding out our lives. So we've had no excuse for not concentrating on the Christ of Christmas. 2000 years ago, all else had failed. Drastic action was needed by God. So we find the most powerful force in the universe, creator, God, father, coming to earth. We sing in Christ alone who took on flesh, fullness of God, in helpless babe. God came in power, but he didn't come in a powerful dynamic way of a ruling king. Instead, he came as someone who would need to cry out to be fed or to have a nappy change. Yet even behind the bright guiding star shining over the stable lurks the call of destiny, even from the cradle, hiding behind the star above is the gravitational pull of the cross that would dictate the baby's life. We sing, 
light of the world by darkness slain. In the carol, Joy to the World, in verse three we sing, he rules the world in truth and grace. There's not much evidence of that in 2020. For our safety, we have surrendered hard fought freedoms and struggled to identify the superabundance of fake news. It's difficult to ensure truth and grace happens in our own locality, never mind the whole wide world. Perhaps we should just focus on what we can do. In his name, through prayer and Christian service, perhaps we could just try and ensure our own lives are ruled by truth and grace. If we can move towards that in our own lives, then through prayer we can leave God to sort out how he uses us in his bigger picture of caring for the world. Leave it to God the Father, Jesus the Son, through the power of the Holy Spirit to make the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and the wonders of his love, 2020.